what is going on everybody it's your girl Garuji Chastity <clears throat> let me clear my throat I'm so happy to be here y'all I haven't recorded a video in a minute like I'm not gonna lie to you I haven't recorded a video in a minute it's cold in Nashville it's been cold and I love to do my videos outside this voice and this personality don't do well in indoor spaces that's confinement I want to be outside with nature <laughs> So I'm like really hyped to be out here. <laughs> so excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. But on today's episode of Garuji Chastity, I want to talk about never pour from an empty cup. We never pour from an empty cup, especially not me. I definitely try and practice my hardest never to pour from an empty cup because this is a lot. I am a lot all the time 24 7 so to maintain this there are really a lot of i wouldn't say precautions but there's just a heightened level of awareness that i must have and i think that everybody must have to a certain degree um everybody needs to have awareness to participate in their idea of reality so you know let's jump into how we will never pour from an open cup you did <laughs> Man, we about to get real cliche real quick. We we go, it's like cliche, but it's RuPaul at the same time. How you gonna love somebody else, but you can't love yourself? You hear me? Let me run that back. Cause it, it just it just roll off the tongue, you know? How you gonna love somebody else, but you can't love yourself? Like, Pete, that seems so simple. And it actually seemed kind of like ridiculous. Like, what are you talking about? But real life, I figured out the hard way. Like here recently, like this is how this lesson relates to me. I find that every day, um, I personally feel like our desires, what gets up and motivates you to go? What drives you to go? What puts gas in the tank? Whether it be money, your kids, your 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 dreams you know your hopes your family whatever the case may be there's something that drives you right and i feel like at every point in the day you hold yourself out just a little bit or sometimes a lot of bit just for that desire so i come to realize like yo i've been really out here hoeing hard i've been out here hoeing hard for myself not for myself but like of myself to get what I think that I need to just feel good every day. And for me, that driving desire at every moment that I wake up and exist is comfort. I just want to feel loved, happy, feel comfortable and feel safe. Um, so I had to really examine what was I willing to do every day to get those things? What things about myself was I willing to dishonor? What things about myself was I willing to glorify? What things about myself was I willing to make small to make that happen? And a lot of times, that was me searching for those feelings in external situations. Whether it be people, smoking weed, eating food, watching TV, painting, doing yoga. It was always an external activity that would drive me to that feeling, to that desire every day. Then it was one day, I promise y'all, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. I was in Shelby Park, hanging out with myself, literally talking out loud, maybe honestly doing this, there was just no camera. It was just me talking. And through that conversation, I literally had a breakdown of like, oh my gosh, I've been operating on a sense of what everybody else has or all the things out here it's better than what I have better than me so trying to find friendship in other people meant that my friendship wasn't good enough trying to find happiness in a moment of pleasure and joy and smoking meant that being with myself wasn't pleasurable and joyful enough you know and when those realizations hit deep it was like, ooh, so what have I been giving all of these other people? Honestly, I just been out here fumbling like, oh, okay, you say you wanna be loved? Um, is, is this it? 
Like, I've been out here just playing games. Oh, you want friendship? Um, ta-da! Is this it? Because I don't know. I haven't pra I, 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 I wasn't in the act of work of practicing that with myself so that I could define that for other people. That's wild. That's real wild when you get down to it. And it's like, man, if I don't want nobody else to shit on me, woo -wee, there gotta be another thing coming if you think I'm finna shit on myself. So when it get down to that degree, like at the end of the day, I have to be my own best friend. Otherwise, nobody, like, uh, it's just so, it's like you can say that sentence. You, you, you have to love yourself before you can love somebody else. But the simplicity of that isn't always conveyed. So that really has to click for everybody on some level, you know? I'm 27, You've, we've heard that. I mean, I'm sure I've heard that from the time that I was 15. It took that long for that to resonate because it's so simple. <laughs> it's so simple. And you see, I'm stuck here stuttering for words, trying to emote a feeling. But the human condition, at least for me, makes everything want to be complex. But it ain't, man. It ain't. You know? It ain't. So, Pete, let me share some tips of how we can stay in the act of practice of never pouring from an empty cup. I. I. Okay, Pete. Pete, 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 Pete. Tip number one is stay in a constant state of gratitude man just look around and be like i got air i got air i can breathe i'm thankful you know it has to be that it has to be that obnoxious it has to be that obnoxious dude because we've been in such a constant state of like fear anxiety stress that just to get your body to understand that there's something on the other side we just got to be dramatic with it and then find our way to the middle but find yourself in a constant state of gratitude gratitude always be thankful for something man always find something to be thankful for okay okay tip number two number two number two be unto yourself as you will want others to be unto you okay so look stop stop it right now <laughs> stop every relationship you got stop stop them you're gonna have a silent moment to yourself and say you know what i ain't giving nobody nothing that i have not given myself so look if you out here giving other people roses and flowers and diamonds, but you ain't never gave it to yourself, never gave it. Okay, you hear my you hear my speech? You never gave it to yourself. Cut it out. Cut it out. Don't do it. So now it's it's gonna be a lot of self-love, a lot of dates, you know, dates with yourself, you know. I love it. My favorite date with myself, let me tell y'all what y'all do. What I do. I get in the car, right? And I, I love hiking. I love to go outside. I love to go hiking. And some of my favorite places are like an hour, hour and a half away from Nashville. I get in the car and I play the music and I just cut up. I cut up. And I literally talk out loud. Like I, sometimes I cut it off and I talk just like this. Act just like this out loud. And be like, boy, you crazy. Do all kind of stuff. And it's like, there's another person in the car and it is. It's me. It's like my energy jumps aside and it's like, oh. You be lit and you be waiting for me. Oh, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. It's, ah. Spending time with myself makes me feel so good. Oh my God, I love it, I love it. This is me spending time with myself. Just hearing my own voice out loud and it echo off of trees and you hear birds, like this is just cool. Like we never, all, we, we never get to experience ourselves. So to know that like I'm a being walking out here and doing stuff to other people and now I get to do it to myself, it's just like, I think you're lit, fella. <laughs> okay, okay, I quit. I quit, I quit, let me see. Okay, 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 look, 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 look. This the last tip. This is my favorite tip. Um, yo, this is a crazy tip. This just clicked for me. But I found out through astrology, um, because I'm a Gemini, this is my astral work, which is breathing, breath work. The last tip, man, if you can't, if you can't do any of these things for yourself, the least that you can do is just take a deep breath. 
always just take a deep breath. Understand that 70% of the toxins that leave your body do so through breath. So just imagine what's going inside if you're not breathing. If you're in flight or flight, uh, fight or flight mode, man, that is also due to breath. You wanna get out of that nervous system. You wanna get into rest and digest. So anytime anything is going on, whether it be a pleasurable moment, because sometimes we get so attached to feeling good that we start chasing that high, whatever the cause of existence may it be. So, take a deep breath, bro. Let's do it. Matter of fact, let's do it right now. Woo, shake it out, shake it out. I know I've been giving y'all a lot of energy, okay? I'm gonna reel it in, I'm gonna, mm-hmm. Thank y'all for joining me on this episode of Guruji Chastity. I'm gonna catch y'all next time. Peace.